Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Your first ever storm deployment is the most important one. If you can't hack it on your first one, you're not going to get called for your second one. Learn how to prepare for and crush your first storm so that it sets you up for your second one and prepares you for a career in claims. Head on over to adjustertv.com slash thrive for a free webinar. Yes, what you've been hearing is absolutely true. It is who you know. But the part that the naysayers leave out is that you don't have to be born into IA firm royalty in order to know somebody. So what do you do? It's simple. You just go meet people. So yes, it absolutely is who you know, but there is not one thing stopping you from getting to know the people that you need to know. So the early part of the year is traditionally convention season for just about every single industry out there, including independent claims adjusting. In this video, you'll learn how important networking at conferences is, but you're not gonna hear it from me. Intrepid Adjuster TV correspondent James Mathis chats with IA firms and IAs who attended this year's NACA conference and they'll give you the scoop on networking at conferences, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a property or auto independent adjuster. Subscribe now, click that bell notification so that you never miss a video. Before we jump into our NACA coverage, just a quick heads up that next week's video will feature Chris from IA Path talking about which auto estimating tool is better. The dent stick or the pocket rod. Okay, so what is NACA? It's the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters. You're gonna wanna fix this little thing right there. Is it icy? So what is NACA? NACA is the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters. But even if you don't do CAT or you never intend to do CAT, NACA is an organization that's there for all of us independent adjusters. There are tons of benefits to becoming a member, not the least of which are retirement, and health benefits through Adjuster Zone, an adjuster mentoring program, your own profile in a searchable database, excellent networking, and so on. Head on over to NACATADJ.org for more information. So at the 2020 NACA convention and job fair, I was fortunate to have some help in covering the event. James Mathis and Max Olson canvassed the convention floor and talked with whoever that they could get their hands on about the benefits of NACA and the benefits of attending the conference. First, James talked to IA firms about why they come to NACA and what they feel the benefits are for adjusters. I'm James with Adjuster TV. What's your name? Yolanda Palacios. Uh, Yolanda, what company are you with? I'm with All Cat Claim Service out of Bernie, Texas, right outside of San Antonio. It's a great place to be. Great place. So um, why did you guys feel like it was important to come to NACA this year? Well, NACA is a convention that you have to come if you're a new adjuster or a uh, adjuster trying to get, you know, with IE firms and that sort of thing. But we came trying to get uh, adjusters uh, from New York uh, all the way to California, in Montana, Wyoming. Okay, and um, if you had to give one piece of advice to a new adjuster trying to get into the business, what would that one piece of advice be? I think be prepared um, your first couple of years. I think the industry in itself is hard to get into, uh, but once you get into it, you know, you, you have to establish your relationship and your reputation and that sort of thing. But I think the hardest thing is to make sure that you have um, some backing. Mm -hmm to withstand that two year period and stuff. But sometimes you get lucky depending on the licenses that you have and the experience that you have. Okay, so one last question. Okay. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Who am I speaking with? Brandon McGill. And Autumn McGill. Are you guys married? We, we are. are. Tell me the name of your company. We're with U.S. Adjusting Services. Okay, and where are you guys out of? We're out of Irving, Texas. And why did you guys feel it was important to come to NACA this year? Um, I just think it's a great way to meet new adjusters, people are just getting into the business, or if you have some targeted locations, you have people from all over the United States that come to this event. Great. And uh, there's a reason why you came here is to make sure that uh, she made you come here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Last question. Coke or Pepsi? Dr. Pepper. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. I was expecting a Coors like. Uh, can I have your name? Micah Harrison. Micah, what's the name of your company? We are Catastrophe Specialist Incorporated. And uh, why did you guys feel it was important to come to NACA this year? Um, for one thing, we like to network. We like to see everybody else in the business, what everybody else is doing, what they're thinking, and the, uh, the value of seeing these adjusters face-to-face -to, -face to know how they're going to react to a carrier and to an insured. Um, we can do uh, online interviews over the phone all day long, but, but seeing how the adjuster answers questions, how comfortable 
how comfortable they are right. uh, speaking. Uh, we just see a, a, a value in that, that that you can't get any other way. If you have one piece of advice for a new adjuster, what would that be? Um, stay organized. Um, you can do it the old-fashioned way. There's plenty of technology. Whatever you feel comfortable with, but just stay as organized as you can. Okay. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. All day long. Okay. Whataburger or In-N-Out? I'm from Texas. Okay. That's a terrible question. Whataburger. Okay. That's with it. Coke. There you go. <laughs> hey, I'm James with Adjuster TV. And can I have your name? I'm Kayla, and I work with IICRC. What does your company do? We're the nonprofit organization that writes the standards and certifications for the cleaning and restoration industry, as well as inspection. That's what we do. Um, so the companies that work with adjusters and insurances are the companies that are usually certified by us. Great. And uh, why did you guys feel it was important to come into NACA this year? We want to have the awareness on both sides so that restoration, they know who they're working with, and as well as adjusters, they know who they're working with and why they're getting the product, final product that they're getting and why the equipment that was used was used and things like that. Where are you out of? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. You ever been to Texas? Yes, I have. Okay, so which is better? A water burger or in and, in and out? Oh my gosh, you can't do that. I'm from California. I can't answer that question. <laughs> you have to answer the question. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. I'm James with Adjuster TV. Can I have your name? Faye Ryan. Faye, and uh, what company do you work for? I'm with Syndicate Claim Services. And where are they out of? We are out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. And uh, why did you guys feel it was important to come to NACA this year? Um, it's just a great networking event, a way to meet new adjusters through different avenues than we normally do, utilizing social media. Um, it's nice to be able to see people face to face and really get to know them. Great. And if you had to give a new adjuster one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, just training. Make sure you're getting the right training and getting out in the field. Which is better, water burger or in and out I've never been either. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Uh, Mike Murphy. Mike, what's the name of the company? Uh, ASNG Catastrophe. Uh, where are you guys out of? Uh, we're, our home office is uh, Houston, Texas. Okay. Why did you feel it was important to come to NACA this year? Uh, this is our fifth year, so it's uh, I've always found some very good adjusters here. So from the newer guys that are looking for help to you know the very experienced. So I've had a good some good luck finding some good adjusters here. Great. So what advice would you give to a new adjuster? Uh, probably to find as many. IA firms as you can uh, get as because you got to have the daily work to stay afloat because there's not always storms. Water burger or In and Out? A water burger for sure. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, Pepsi. Hi, I'm James with Adjuster TV. What's your name? I'm Rhonda Cole. Rhonda Cole. What uh, what's the name of your company? Uh, we are the Network of Independent Claims Adjusters. Why did you think it was important to come to NACA this year? Uh, we're looking for uh, the next generation of adjusters, and we thought this was a good opportunity to come out and meet some newer uh, licensed adjusters and kind of make a name for ourselves. Uh, we've got some clients that are looking for inside adjusters, and we thought this would be a good place to to meet some new ones. Great. And uh, what piece of advice would you give to a new adjuster? Um, I would say just be willing to learn, uh, be willing to really understand how to read a policy um, and be moldable. Find out what the, the client needs um, and position yourself to be available for them. Great. And uh, which is better, Whataburger or In-N-Out? In-N-Out. I'm from California. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. <laughs> All right, we got it. Thank you. Next, James asked independent adjusters what they thought about the conference and a few other questions as well. It's James Mathis here live from NACA 2020. I guess it's not really going to be live since we're going to edit this. We're going to come out here and we're going to talk to independent adjusters, see what they got from NACA, see what they felt it was worth it or not. And we're going to find out today what their superpowers are. Let's go. Give me your name and what city and state you're from. Uh, my name is John Knight. I am from Fort Myers, Florida. So my name is Harriet Ozell. I am from Brunswick, Georgia, but I work out of Mobile, Alabama. I'm Cindy Thalen. I'm from Westphalia, Michigan. Reese Burke from Stephenville, Texas. Stephenville, Texas. Yes. Little town just south of Granbury. Yes. I've never heard of it. David Workman from Cuba, Missouri. My name is John Luna, the state of Texas in uh, Missouri City, which is a suburb of Houston. Uh, how many years have you been a... Uh, an adjuster. Just over two. Uh, this is my first year at NACA. First year at NACA. Uh, so what two things, give me one or two things that you felt helped your career as an adjuster this week. I got to meet a lot of companies that I didn't know too much about. So that was very, very illuminating. It was, it was, plus it was good to see what, what they're looking for. 
so I learned a lot about what the companies are actually specifically looking for. So do you feel it was worth it to come out here this week? Absolutely, and, and more so just to see some of the faces of people that I don't often, you know, you just meet on the phone. It's not only good for opportunity, it was, it was very good to, to kind of reinforce, you know, the relationship with the people that you actually work with. Okay, how many years have you been an adjuster? Two years. Two years. And um, how many years have you come to NACA? Is this your first? This is my very first year at NACA, and I'm having a blast. It's Great. the best investment that I've ever made. You should do too. Two things you took from this week that you think helped your career the most? The networking as well as the training. So I was able to take the IIRC water course, and I also took the desk adjusters courses, which was very helpful for my career. Do you feel like it was worth it to come out here this week? Yes, sir, it was very much worth it. I suggest that everyone, if you have the opportunity, please come to NACA next year. Okay, great. So if you could give advice to anybody that's uh, getting started, you know, you've been doing this two years, so you're still fairly new at it. Um, what advice would you give to somebody starting out? Be persistent. Don't hesitate. Don't overthink. Have a plan of action network, uh, Adjuster TV, I watch you guys all the time on YouTube, whatever you do, don't give up. If this is what you want to do, you can do it. How long have you been an adjuster? 30 plus years. 30 plus years. Are you still adjusting? Yes. Out in the field, working in every day? Both out in the field, managing, Perfect. Um, appraisals, Perfect. inventorying, diversifying. So how many years have you come to NACA? Uh, this is a, my fifth year. Fifth year. Okay. Did you learn anything this week since you're such a pro and been doing this for so long? You always learn something new. Whether you've been to the class before, you always pick up on something new. What would you take away from this week? <laughs> uh, diversification. Perfect. You have to be ready for anything to be in the adjuster field. So if somebody just getting started off as an adjuster, what advice would you give them? One um, big piece of advice. Just soak up as much as you can from any veteran or look for a mentor that can help you with any everyday questions. If you get stuck on something, have a go-to person. How many years have you been an adjuster? 16. 16 years. Yes, sir. Uh, how many? Can't seem to find a better job. I look, but you know. Got it. <laughs> so uh, how many years have you come to NACA? This is my first year. First year. So what two things have you done this week that you feel uh, helped your career as an adjuster? Lots of networking uh, and lots of networking. Talked to a lot of companies that are new. Right. I didn't realize that they were, they even existed yet or, uh, and made connected with some companies I've done work for in the past. So do you feel like it was worth it to come here this week? Worth Absolutely. the investment? Absolutely. So I was hoping to talk to a husband and wife team, but she ran away. And uh, she happens to be one of Adjuster TV's biggest fans. Her name was Trisha. Workman. Workman. And, uh, but here's her husband. David, how long have you been an adjuster? We're just starting out. Just starting We're out. We're in our first year. So I'm going to assume this is your first time to come to NACA? Yes, it is. Uh, what two things did you take away from this week that you think helped your uh, career as an adjuster? Getting to put a face with the companies mm -hmm. that are out there in, instead of just, you know, website, being able to actually talk to people who are going to be doing assignments and things like that, and then to be able to get to know the other adjusters and find out from them what's worked well for them and what Great. they think you should do. So do you feel like it was worth it for you to come here this yeah, week? Yeah, very, very much so. you, Do you think it was worth it bringing your wife as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Even though she hides. Even though she lot, hides? Yeah. Didn't you tell me earlier today that uh, she is a huge fan of Adjuster TV? Yeah, that's correct. So have you seen Adjuster TV and seen Matt Allen? No. Today on Adjuster TV have Matt Allen talking to people and playing Adjuster TV. And uh, how long have you been an adjuster? Um, two years, uh, going on my third year. Third year. And is this your first time at NACA? Yes, sir, it is my first time. So what, uh, what two things did you think you learned this week to help you with your career? Okay, everybody has been giving me little golden nuggets. Golden nuggets? Yeah, a lot of people have, have just freely given me free advice and I've taken the, those advice to heart. The other thing that I love about NECA is I'm able to meet with the uh, independent firms. That alone has just made a tremendous uh, uh, account in my career. So okay. uh, yes, uh, just meeting with so many IA firms has been great. 
And as a new adjuster, do you feel like it was worth the money spent to come out here this week? Oh, yes. I've, I'm already uh, signing up for next year. What's your superpower? Oh, I uh, can't talk about it. What's your superpower? Oh, jeez. I think being empathetic to people and giving people that mm, that they need in order for them to okay. proceed. Does your wife know you're here this week? Well, actually, she with me i've been enjoying myself here and she's been enjoying herself in the casino <laughs> now you're gonna have to really make a lot of money to pay for this trip yes uh-huh exactly <laughs> what's your superpower my superpower yes agility what's your superpower i can pick the slowest checkout line at the grocery store okay coke or pepsi pepsi absolutely with ice there's right. nothing better in the world coke or pepsi coke coke or pepsi uh coke coke or pepsi Coke. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Right now, Coke is winning. Miller Lighter Coors Light. Mm. Stag Light. Question of the day. How would you handle uh, how would you handle a chain link fence damaged by a fallen tree limb? Can it be repaired and how? Or does it need to be replaced corner to corner? Let's talk about it in the comments where you're watching this video. And if you like this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjust Your TV on YouTube. What's the next thing I say? Wondering what to watch next? You can check out tons more great videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel as well as at adjustertv.com. We're skiing today.